You know how games have level up boosts or campaign skips? Or how we have these idle games like Cookie Clicker where you almost don't have to play the game at all? I think PAL World is like that in some ways. You can automate your pals to do pretty much anything for you, but you still have to unfortunately play the game to get anything done. So in order to bring PAL World up to speed with all these other games and their skip systems, I came up with this, the level up scroll. Well, actually it's this, but we'll get there. Also, I want to mention that this is inspired by a Let's Game It Out video, but I found out the level up exploit. But because I'm too lazy to actually do it myself, I did the next best thing. Struggle with Python input libraries on Windows for two days, so I don't have to play the game I bought. So how does this exploit work? It's pretty simple actually. You put down a piece of foundation, which gives you XP, then you destroy it, which gives you your material back. Repeat until level 50. In order to do this, without actually having to do it, we're gonna use Python. You see, Python has a couple of libraries that make it really easy to simulate user input. Keyboard key press, mouse move, mouse click, and so on. So, if we translate the exploit into some pseudocode, it would look something like this. Click B to open build menu, move the mouse to top right to highlight the foundation item, left click mouse to select it, left click mouse to place it, click B button to open build menu again, press C button to switch to destruct mode, left click mouse to destroy the foundation, and repeat. Pretty simple, or so I thought. In my first iteration of the script, I used mouse, keyboard, and Pi auto GUI libraries, which makes simulating user input straightforward. However, this thing was just not gonna work. In PAL world, in order to select an item from the build menu, you have to highlight it. But when using simulated input, this is a problem because even though the script moves the mouse, it does not trigger the highlight event. This could be because of anti-cheat or how the game maps and interprets user input. I even tried setting some sleep timers in between the steps in order to give the game some time to parse the inputs, but no luck. And I was ready to scrap the whole idea at this point, but I thought of one more approach, controller. Virtual controller to be specific. These things do not have a pointer that needs to go to a specific place on the screen in order to trigger an item. So surely it would work. Nice. The way it works is close to what I had before, with the difference of instantiating a virtual controller and moving joysticks to where we need them. Also, you still have to add these sleep timers between steps, otherwise the game does not have time to parse inputs correctly. And had to remove recursion because it runs too deep. So let's set up the world and boost the character. I set hunger to minimum and the HP region to max, just to not get interrupted while running the script. Yeah, uh, remember how I adjusted hunger and HP sliders? Well, I missed one thing that takes this process to a whole new level, setting XP rate to 20. With this, the XP rate goes to 46 XP per second, which means if we follow this chart, which says you need 10.7 million XP for max level, you can get it in around 65 hours. But I did play with sleep timers some more, reducing it from 10th of a second between each step to 2 to 3 hundredths of a second, which brought XP up to 126-ish XP per second, which means you can get level 50 in 24 hours.
So if you want to level up to max level in PAL world without doing anything and have 24-ish hours of computing time, there is a way. 